Here we have a, a little um, write-up of it, and uh, what we're saying here is that if you started from C, and you go to the fifth note, you'll get G, and you add one sharp, and that's the F in this case and you're playing in the key of G, but the next key is D, and D you will have to add another sharp. You've already done the F sharp, now you add the C sharp. So you can see the circle of fifths starting from C with no sharps. Each key adds one sharp, always the seventh tone and you'll run through C, G, D, A, E, B, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and E sharp. Okay? So, we're going to do that on the guitar in a, a very simple way. Alright? And uh, that'll be the next uh, thing we'll look at. Now, the, um, the way this will be done is we'll start with uh, the C chord, which is played up here on the 13th fret, in this position, and then I'll look for the fifth note. Here it is. I'll play that as the first note in the chord using the position where the first note is the center. Then I'll find the fifth note, and I'll use the position where that note is the first note. I think you'll see that I'm changing each time the fifth note to become the first note by using the alternate uh, form. There's three forms, so one of the forms will do for the first one, and one will do for the next one, and one will do for the next one, and one will do for on and on. We're going to go right down the, uh, the uh, uh, set of keys and hopefully we'll get all 12 keys using sharps by using what's called the circle of fifths.
That way we've gone through all of the major chords using the circle of fifths. And now we're going to look at using the circle of fourths.